Service. What's up with you? Robert, it's always catchy when we're understaffed. Yeah, and the surlier he gets, the more we do this. Uh, can you two not hear me, or what? Pop, pop. Oh, I thought you were going back to bed. Service, now, please. Hot pot. Yeah, Betty's. I've written down what I remember of the recipe. We'll work the rest out. But Betty's hot pot belongs in the rollers. No, it belonged to Betty. I knew her for years, so it'd be our tribute to her. Yeah, but they'd, they'd be furious at a cost of business. Oh, dear, what a shame. I get Zidane on it. Hey, I hope you're not in charge of the scissors this afternoon. Like a ninja with me snippers, mate. Oh. Hey, I've been ringing you. I've just done two of your clients and another's walked out. Let me guess, is it Mrs. Peterson? Only the boy will do for Mrs. Peterson, not Flouncy Maria. Yeah, well, Flouncy Maria has been run off a flaming feet. Right, I'm going to have to cancel the rest of your clients this afternoon. Look at the state here. Now, that was a flounce. It does sound like you left her high and dry. Well, today is the best day of my life, so... No, today is the best day of my life since the worst day of my life, so... My best. Hope is Clayton's last. Uh, actually, I, I said I'd meet me Annie Beth in the car. Let me buy you a drink. I was a right cow before. I've not said out if that's what you're worried about. I'm not. I just feel bad about it. Really got me down, actually. Maybe that's a good sign. You know, hormones. Mm. I know what that's like. Do you? Oh. Oh, you mean you've been pregnant before? Once, uh, Yeah, I, I thought you might know. I, I don't know if Peter does. No, um, well, he's not said if he does. Oh, Sinead, I'm so sorry. Stop worrying about me. So, uh, how long were you pregnant for, if you don't mind me asking? Not that it makes it any better or worse. Every failed IVF attempt felt like a miscarriage. Well, I suppose it is, really. Didn't matter whether it was days or weeks, it still feels... I never said I had a miscarriage. But I... I had an abortion. No. Now it's your turn to hear me. But you want as much as I do myself. But you didn't want an abortion? No, it was my decision. Did Daniel pressure you? No, not Daniel. But someone did. I I'm just fed up of all the lying. So now we know a secret about each other. And you don't owe me an apology. Um. I'd better go find me Auntie Beth. Get the test done, yeah? At least then you'll know. Mm. I'll give you another dose. That rash hasn't cleared up, has it? I uh, know. I'm doing it, ain't I? <clears throat> Oh, I know, Angel. Yeah, don't worry. I'll get you home now. And chips. They're coming. And ketchup and mayonnaise. Boy, Daniel, lose the sour face. We're celebrating here. Aren't you pleased that I'm home? Delighted. Uh, what time's your break? Hi, what's up? What's happened? Nothing. I, I don't know. If, uh, days pass and we don't talk about things. I, I think we need to try harder. Is this a random existential crisis, or are you actually on about something specific? We get up, we go to work, we come home, we have tea, and nothing gets dealt with or said. You know what I'm on about. OK, just... Will you give me two minutes? I'm just serving. Right, come on, then. What do you think? Does it need more herbs? Oh, is that straight out of the oven? <laughs> Oi! I'm not serving up, pot. Can you stop this now? Water. Stop what? Michelle, who are you trying to kid? This is not to do with our business. It's about Steve. You reckon? Mind reader now, are you? 